Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of the Atheist Experience. It's January 4th, 2009. Happy New Year. A couple of points I wanted to make. Um, the first was the challenge um, that I've heard you make, Matt, about mm -hmm. the purpose that religion has provided for society that nothing else could have. Am I correct? That's not quite the way I phrased it because uh, I'm not. I'm not saying it wasn't wasn't purpose. What it is is a benefit, a real, tangible, positive benefit that can only be achieved through religious means. Right. Okay. Yeah. On a side note, I was going to challenge you to see if you could not hang up on me this week. Uh, okay. I won't. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you don't deserve it. Yeah. Just, well, at least, just, right, at least, just a little uh, lame joke there. Um, so, so have you got a response I'm, to that challenge in particular? I think I might. Okay. And, my, and, it, and it goes to my second point, which is what I wanted to uh, talk about uh, regarding what Jeff had said at the first of the show. Okay. The purpose uh, that religion has served is the fear of hell. But that's not real or tangible. I'm sorry, what? How, how is that real or tangible? Well, the it's fear a, the, itself? The, 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 I'll let, let me answer, if you okay. would. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. The belief in hell has yeah. made persons of questionable moral character be better people. I believe this is this has been necessary throughout have... the ages, particularly more in the past than, than now because um, of the barbarism in the past. But um, I do believe necessary evil but... and and that, uh, you know, we may be, not may, I, my, my belief is that we are evolving out of these kind of beliefs, this, these kind of sadistic God uh, beliefs. I believe that, um, will, will you go ahead and respond to that if you would and tell yeah. me if that's, a, if that's a decent answer to your question? Uh, no, but here's why. Um, the, the thing that, the, what we're talking about is the result, not the method to get there. So the result that you're talking about is it makes some people better. This idea of a threat of hell makes some people it better. makes them act better. Uh, it makes them act better. But you can make people act better through purely secular means. Uh, you don't need the threat of hell in order to make people behave. And all, while I agree on some level, and we've talked about this before, that there may in fact be people who are not going to respond and behave well unless they are given some sort of authority figure or some sort of uh, mandate that prevents them from behaving the way their natural character would have. Uh, religion is not necessarily required for that. You could do it through purely secular means. But I also think it is a little short-sighted and particularly insulting to imply that there's this huge chunk of the population that just absolutely can't help feeding their base desires unless they're given the carrot and stick of heaven and hell. Well, let me say this, Matt. I have heard, I watch your show. I like y'all's show. I appreciate your organization. I, I, as a uh, as a kind of a uh, optimistic, uh, you know, perhaps a little naive uh, individual, I think there is a purpose for everything. And uh, I think that y'all are serving a purpose, both with your show and with your organization. So I, I want to commend you for that. But in response to what you just said, I have heard you say, people, I know a lot of people, fundamentalist Christians in particular, call and say that if there is no God, then there's no reason to be moral. And you have said, I've heard you say, that if someone needs to believe in God, I don't know if you mentioned hell particularly, yeah. but if they need to believe in God in order to be a good person, then by all means, believe in God. Yeah, here's, here's what I've actually said, and you're almost dead on, um, is that we've asked the question before from people who say, the only thing that keeps me moral is the idea that there's a God. I don't believe that that's true, but there are people who have said it. And what I would say to those people is, if you're convinced that it's true, I want you to stay in church and I want you to keep believing. However, I don't believe that it's actually true. I don't believe that if they found out tomorrow that they had been mistaken about the, uh, you know, God or, or Jesus or whatever God that they, they worshipped, I don't believe they would go run around and start raping and killing. It's not the idea uh, of the threat of a hell or, or the reward of a heaven that keeps people in line, even the people who would normally do that. And, yeah, and if I could just jump in for a second. Um, Ed, I'm betting, so since I've looked for these statistics, I'm betting you don't have them either because I couldn't find them. I'm not aware of any statistics which support your claim that that uh, populations that have religion with a threat of hell are uh, ha uh, have um, citizens who behave better. 
and i just don't think that there is any such evidence there is some not very not very perfect evidence but 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 it's all we've got there are prison statistics that that show that there are fewer self professed atheists in prisons than there are in the general public and i got to cut you both off here because we are completely out of time thanks